It's officially winter, that time of the year where people expect to have sore throats, itchy eyes, and stuffy noses. For many people, this time of the year is synonymous with the common cold. But it doesn't have to be that way at all. There isn't something in the air in the winter that makes people's immune systems break down, and there isn't an increase in the amount of cold viruses among us in the colder months. The increase in cases of the common cold and even the flu can all be attributed to habits and lifestyle choices. Stress, poor nutrition, lack of sleep and exercise, and little to no sunshine can all be kryptonite for your immune system. If you're working with any combination of those, you in danger, girl. There's lots of warm drinks and tonics you can use to boost your immune system. Golden milk contains turmeric, which has antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial properties that work together to fight infection. Another important part of golden milk is ginger. Ginger has been found to activate T cells. T cells can destroy cells that have become infected by viruses or cells that have become malignant. Mix everything together in the saucepan and bring it to a low simmer. You can add maple syrup or agave to taste. One thing to keep in mind about turmeric is that it will stain whether it's wet or dry, so make sure to be extra careful. So this recipe makes enough for two cups. I'll drink one that same day and then store the rest in the fridge for the next day. You can also use turmeric and apple cider vinegar tonic. Apple cider vinegar contains malic acid, which is a strong antiviral that can be used to prevent colds. It also contains probiotics that are crucial to maintaining gut health. The lemon, turmeric, and ginger make the drink very strong, so you can add a dash of agave syrup to make it easier to drink. Matcha is not only a great coffee alternative, it also contains EGCG. EGCG helps your body produce more T cells which reduces inflammation and fights pathogens. Matcha also contains chlorophyll which detoxifies the body. Lemon water can soothe the sore throat, help to relieve stress, promote a healthy liver, and most importantly, it can aid in digestion. In the colder months, try to limit your coffee intake and try herbal teas instead. Ginger and peppermint tea can fight respiratory problems, improve circulation, and boost your immunity. I'm sure you all know the health benefits of juicing, but juicing has specific benefits for your immune system. By breaking down the entire fruit or vegetable, you're retaining all of the nutrients that it has to offer. Figure that into the fact that you're combining multiple fruits and veggies that all have different benefits, and you're giving your body the fuel it needs to fight disease. As you can see, I'm using a Vitamix instead of a juicer. I did a video on the process that I'll link in the description box below, but basically the key is to add water and then strain the juice until your desired smoothness. All of the juice recipes make about 32 ounces except for the green juice, which makes about 64. I think that's due to the high water content of the cucumbers. Green juice is the quintessential health drink, but I think it's important to mention that yellow juices and orange juices have a wide array of benefits as well. Carrots contain beta carotene which converts into vitamin A. Ginger has many benefits. It can detoxify your respiratory system, decrease inflammation in the lungs, and when taken orally, ginger can increase your lung capacity. Everyone knows that vitamin C is vital to your immune system. What you may not know is that you can easily find powdered versions of vitamin C that have 10 times higher concentration than vitamin C tablets. This allows you to sneak vitamin C into juices or smoothies without having to pop a bunch of pills. You can even mix one tablespoon of vitamin C powder into room temperature water and drink it that way. Garlic has the ability to boost your immune system. Studies have shown that garlic reduces the risk of becoming sick in the first place as well as how long you stay sick. These are a few liquid herbs that I take this time of year to prevent getting sick. Oil of oregano is a powerful microbial that can fight infection. In fact, it's considered nature's antibiotic. The resins within osha root relieve congestion by expelling mucus from the lungs and sinuses and reduces inflammation by naturally increasing your own cortisol production. This next tincture is a combination of different herbs that improve respiratory health including osha root, ginger, and licorice root. 
Echinacea cuts the chances of catching a cold by 58% and reduces the duration of the common cold by almost a day and a half. Elderberries can aid in digestion, improve cardiovascular and respiratory health, boost immunity, and helps to regulate insulin and glucose levels. Probiotics should be a staple in everyone's self-care routine and you can take them in a variety of different ways. Ever heard the expression, all disease starts in the gut? Well, 70% of our immune defense system lies in our digestive system. Kombucha is a great introduction of probiotics if you're not ready to do a parasite cleanse yet. My aunt introduced me to neti pots and I like to use it once a week or so while in the shower. I got mine from Target, it was less than 20 bucks, and it's basically a nasal flushing system that uses warm water and salt to clear your nasal pathways. Check out my blog post linked below for instructions on how to use it. An herbal steam can be a great relief if you're already feeling a little under the weather. When combined, rosemary and peppermint essential oil work together to provide quick relief from congestion and scratchy throats. Just take a pot of boiling water, add about 10 to 15 drops of each oil, stir, and then lean over the pot and inhale the steam. If the oils are too strong, simply add more water to dilute the mixture. Another trick is to keep a bottle of non-toxic hand sanitizer handy. This recipe is vegan, cruelty-free, and all natural. Simply mix together aloe vera gel, witch hazel, rose water, essential oil for fragrance, and tea tree oil to kill germs. Like the vitamin C recommendation, I'm sure you don't need to be told that exercise can help to optimize your body and keep you from catching a cold. Anytime you encourage an increase in blood flow, you're recharging your cells and organs so that they can properly perform. Staying away from long nights and alcohol during the colder transition months will decrease your chances of waking up with a scratchy throat. A full night's rest also gives your organs enough time to cleanse and reset themselves. That was it. You can check out the full details on my blog, httpvegan2vs.com. And let me know if you try any of these recipes in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.